You've probably already seen these deals and already snagged them, but I'm gonna let you in on some deals that you may not know about. I'm in my three to six month rotating pantry. I've done a lot of grocery hauls for the new year and I need to restock my shelves. I have things on my floor. So while I'm doing all of this, I'm gonna let you know what you should stock up on right now. Cereal. Yes, breakfast and convenience foods. I've seen some really good deals in my stores on cereal. Match their store sale with a manufacturer's coupon and you are saving. Did you know that January is National Oatmeal Month? You're more than likely to find promotions, sales, and coupons with some big name brands. We're more than likely to see also sales on instant oatmeal. These are great and convenient, but it's super easy to make your own. You're gonna need 10 cups of quick cooking oats. Four of those cups you're gonna grind up until it becomes a powder. This helps the oatmeal become a little thicker and creamy. Teaspoon and a half of salt, one cup of non-dairy creamer or dried milk, one cup of brown sugar. I'm using snack size plastic baggies. You can also use mason jars. I scooped a half a cup of the oatmeal mixture into the snack size baggies. There are so many combinations that you can make. You can add nuts, peanut butter powder, sweetened shredded coconut, cinnamon. I'm using freeze dried fruits. You can make cranberry almond, apple cinnamon, peanut butter banana, pineapple coconut, strawberry and banana, strawberries and cream, blueberry, apple raisin, peanut butter chocolate banana where you add a teaspoon of cocoa powder. Add six ounces of water. If you're going to microwave, microwave on high for one to two minutes until hot. Let it cool for about a minute or so and as it's cooling, it'll thicken up. February is also National Hot Breakfast Month. Stock up on hot breakfast food items. So look again for oatmeal, cream of wheat, malto meal, frozen waffles, pancake mixes, syrup, biscuit mixes, and pre-made canned biscuits. Here's something I just learned about. February is National Canned Food Month. If you've been around here long enough, you know we're down with canned foods. Look up tuna, canned veggies, canned fruits, chilies, beans, stews, and refried beans. and soups. Some cream soups I've seen on sale. Match them with a coupon and you're gonna save even more. Also on sale this month, you're gonna see things like diet protein drinks, powders, specialty diet foods. With the health foods, we'll see sales and good prices on things like lean cuisine, TV dinners, easy entrees to throw in the microwave or oven. So grab a couple, pop them in your freezer for a quick meal later down the road. And supplements. We're in the cold and flu season right now. All your vitamins are gonna be on sale. So grab those cold medicines, cough drops. You're also gonna see some great deals from Procter & Gamble. So you might see like sanitary pads on sale, shampoos, conditioners, toiletries, mouthwash, toothpaste. So keep your eye out. And match these with a coupon and score. The biggest football game of the year is coming up in February, the Super Bowl. Be on the lookout for your snack food. Some of them you might be able to get at the lowest prices of the year. Of course, look for chips, soda, dips, salsas, and even chicken wings and hot dogs. This really is a good month to purchase food that's in season. Some states may have more availability with the lower prices on some of this produce that's in season. It just really depends on where it's coming from, being shipped from, and then those add-on costs. Take advantage of all the citrus fruits, oranges, lemons, tangerines, grapefruit, and yes, you can freeze these. Peel them, pull them apart, slice them up, lay them down on a cookie sheet, put them in the freezer for an hour, then put them in a food saver bag or a Ziploc bag. You can add these later to your desserts and your smoothies. I'm trying to keep my eye out on a juicer. Is there one that you like? Will you please leave it in the comments? Thanks. In February, it's the Chinese New Year. Look for water chestnuts, stir fry vegetables, teriyaki sauce, and of course, soy sauce. Keep an eye out on storage bins. You could still snag some Christmas bins. This is a great time of year to grab the tins and totes bins for all your organizing projects this year. And a great way to store your food storage if you don't have the space. Every food item that enters your home should have a purpose. Make sure you need it. It goes to a recipe, one of your go-tos. Now don't spend all your money in just one store. Plan to shop several stores and their sales for the best deals. It takes a little bit of homework before you go out, but so worth it in the end. Check the expiration and best buy dates. Now on some products like canned goods, the date on the can is just a general idea. 
Canned goods can go between five to eight years, sometimes even longer. It depends on the food. So organize your inventory by the date. And remember, don't blow your monthly budget. No sale is worth going into debt for. Make sure you can pay your regular monthly bills before you start stocking up. With taking inventory of what you have, you know what you need to use in your meal planning for the month. So look and see what's in your freezers, what's in the back of your freezer, and jot it down somewhere. Put it in your planner. Our She's in Her Apron weekly planners actually has a spot for all of this. There's a section called Shop Your Shelves where you can take inventory every month of what's in your pantry, your refrigerator, your freezers, any pre-made freezer meals that you already done and see what you can use up this month. That way you can create a meal plan and nothing goes to waste. So for more savings, click this video here where I share with you over 60 ways that you could save on your grocery budget. And click this video right here where I share with you over 40 foods that freeze well. Let's take advantage of our freezers. I'll meet you over there. Thank you for joining me. Bye.